So how they work fundamentally here is by zoom levels. You're also po possibly going to have breakpoints with your own data because sometimes the pieces that you're going to bring in from other sources are going to have some kind of data that you want to maybe make a circle larger depending on um, if it has more of something in it or smaller, uh, if it has less, of course. And you're going to need to make some kind of little points, maybe not just to start and end, but you might also want colors to shift depending on values, but to be have uh, a gradual shift. Now for all of those, um, breakpoints are going to be really useful, and it can also be used for really tight shifts, like right exactly on a zoom level. Um, well, very, very close to a point 0.1. So you can see here that... Uh, let's, let's mess around just a little here. So it, I have it here kind of in a confusing thing. From low zoom at 10, it's going, it's, it's at 1 pixel. 12, it goes down to 0.5 pixel. At 14, it goes back up to 2 pixels wide. And at 18, the really, a really high zoom, it gets 18 pixels wide. So it's pretty big. So actually, instead of having it do this weird thing, why don't we make it more smooth? So maybe at 10, I'll make it 0.5. Um, no, that doesn't look right to our map. So why don't we make it even 2? Actually, looks closer. How about 1.5? Alright, so this is going to be our starting point, this 1.5. And then for 12, as we zoom in, see it seems to stay, it, it gets way too thin. So why don't we just get rid of this 12 breakpoint? There we go. And now it'll stay, maybe we can even make this a little thicker on the far end. Have it get a little bigger. And from 14, you know what, we're going to get rid of that too, so that it just gradually gets thicker all the way down. Now you can see we've managed to simplify our breakpoints. Maybe I'll make that a little less again. And that's looking a little more um, gradual. So we've simplified our breakpoints here instead of just stacking up a bunch that run all over the place. And that's good because as you do your zoom levels, um, it gets quite confusing to work with each breakpoint and they interact with each other to some extent because of the how, how short the gradient can be. For instance, if I made this at 17.9 to still be 1.5, let's watch what happens. So I can set a zoom, uh, it to be that close. So it stays, it's still 1.5. It looks like it's getting thinner because everything else is thicker. And where are we at? 16.6, .6, okay. And boom, it just changed. Let's go slowly. You can see it actually does have a slight time where it moves, but it's very small. And for the purposes, all intents and purposes, it basically happens instantly. So you can set breakpoints that close or just gradually. Um, okay, let's do a little bit more styling and then we're going to head on to the data section. So let's keep going. We need to, we can see some of these other streets um, that we may want to style. So why don't we style the rest of those? So let's find out what they are. Uh, road secondary, tertiary, and road main case. Okay, I'm going to get rid of all the cases, actually. We don't want any of them. Um, they're all very nice for this map, but that's not what we're going to be doing. So we may end up making it look like pretty much all the roads disappear. Yeah, so we might want to bring them back just to be able to click on them uh, later on. So secondary, tertiary, okay. We can make that black. All right, maybe that's a little bit much. You can see that it's it is it is dark. It's it is dark, but it's not that dark. So we'll just go to width here. And again we have all these breakpoints to manage. Looks like um we're at ten point five and it's already way too wide for what I want. So I'm just gonna set the lower one much lower and for it now to be much lower. It's a little closer, might still be a little bit big. So we maybe could make it point two and maybe make this also um come down a little. So that as we zoom in, we have a re relatively gradual effect. Okay, it looks all it looks all right. It's not the best. Uh, primary that that sounds like important. Road two, yeah. Now there we go. That seems to interconnect a lot. So again, we can probably change the width. It shouldn't maybe be this wide. So maybe we have just two breakpoints. Maybe we just try halving this, and we can probably even have it again. There we go. It's again. Maybe it's a little bit big for the Mapify um, exact copy, but you're getting the idea. Maybe I need to make it less. And if I really wanted, and I was like, oh, maybe there's something missing, you can also mess around with the opacity. Opacity is the transparency, and it also has breakpoints, as you can see. 
In this case, it just goes directly from 0 to 4 um, immediately. And um, I don't know why it just showed a 4. That's kind of weird. Opacity can only be between 0 and 1. Um, but maybe I'll set it to only ever be 0.5 opacity. So it's kind of got a gray, gray kind of look to it. Actually, it's almost a little more similar. So, okay, I'll kind of leave it like that for now. And maybe it looks like there's a chunk here missing. The perfectionist in me wants to deal with that. So that's probably a link. Let's see, trunk link maybe? No, that doesn't seem to be it. Um, did that actually do anything? I don't know, I can't tell. So let's just leave them red. That way we can really tell. Um, actually, that's probably not a good idea. It's probably just because <laughs> if we forget about it, it's on some weird part of the map and we don't notice it, then that's not a good thing. Road secondary note, doesn't look like we have a have a link road there. So that's a little unfortunate, but okay. Um, why don't we just keep playing around and messing around with different... Oh, wow, we just got a whole bunch more uh, in there. So that's cool. That's fun. Uh, we're going to, again, we can mess around with that more later. Maybe there's some more streets that'll jump out. No. You know what? We're just going to grab all these, and we're going to make them all black. It seems like that seems to be what we can do. So when we multi-select, you can see there's it shows multiple values that are there for each of the layers. It says, okay, these layers have a slightly gray color and these layers are white. So make sh which do you want to combine them? Do you want to collapse them? Do you want them to just stay the same? And then you can see it has four different opacity because they're doing all kinds of complicated shifting and showing of these different pieces. Um, and then there's some more complicated things like um, caps and join. We're not really going to go over these. These are much more advanced for if you're doing really specific things with lines. And we're going to be doing a lot more than just lines. But okay, so um, let's just make them all... You know what? I'm just going to kind of pull a nuclear option here and just make them all black. All right. So we get pretty much all that we're going to be able to see. All right. So we're missing a couple elements, which is okay, I'm sure, if we... If I took the time to actually do this properly, uh, maybe some of them was, are bridges, maybe some of them are something a little different. So, uh, or or maybe it's there, and I just you know shouldn't have erased them all by by making them white. But that's okay. You get the idea of a lot of different pieces that we're doing here. Um, now I noticed that these ones probably stand out a bit more when we come in closer. You can see they stand out a bit more. So why don't we go back to uh, those were the primary roads. We can see the opacity is 0.5. Maybe at where we are, we can have them go to 1 opacity. So they're standing out a little more. Um, maybe we could even make it so that they're a little more wide at this point. So maybe we make them 6. Or actually, we had a good break point um, at 4. So instead, why don't we change it at this point? So you can see we just made it jump right out. Maybe we make it 2. No, how about 1.5? Okay, so we can kind of manage it to be just a little larger there than the surrounding uh, areas. And there's also all this building data that only seems to appear for us once we are really far down here. And actually, you don't seem to see it at all. So, okay, we're going to have to mess with that, as I said, in the data section. Let's go to the street low and just turn down maybe the opacity a little. Um, I don't know what's going on here. It looks like it goes from 0 to 1, and then they disappear and maybe are replaced by another layer. So that's complicated. So what they could potentially be doing here is there's another layer here that shows more information than this at this point. And as we go over this part where now that other layer we were actually looking at just disappeared and was replaced with another layer with more detail. And that is definitely confusing. So don't try to get everything understood here. Just know that Zoom you can combine zoom levels and strange in different ways. We're going to look briefly at dotted lines. We can see there's a dotted line down here. Let's look at what that is. Road path. Okay, so how are they doing that? There's a dash array. Okay, this is really complicated, so I'm just going to get rid of all the stop, the, the breakpoints, because it's just way too much. So here we can see the dash changed when I did that, which makes sense because we're at some zoom level. Now, we can't really see the dash too well, so why don't we try mess just randomly messing around with these values? Okay, that changed it. Five, okay, six. So what it seems to be doing is making a space in between that uh, is a certain size and a dash that's a certain size, and that's exactly what it's doing. So if we give it 
3, we'll see the dashes are half the size of the spaces. And if we make it like this, okay, that's looking like a pretty nice dotted line. Or that's a pretty classic looking one. Okay, so that, that looks okay. So dotted lines are not too hard either. Okay, so we've worked a lot with polylines. Let's mess around a little with labels. Of course, they aren't actually in this map, but that's okay. We need to go over them because they're just crucial.